हरे कृष्णा सी गॉड नॉट जस्ट इन द प्राइवेसी ऑफ द हार्ट बट ऑल्सो इन द एक्टिविटी ऑफ द वर्ल्ड सम पीपल थिंक दैट परसुइंग गॉड मीन्स वन हैज टू लीव द वर्ल्ड एंड गो टू अ जंगल गो टू अ सेक्लूडेड खेव इन अ माउंटेन एंड मेडिटेट ओवर देयर एंड थ्रू दैट काइंड ऑफ इंट्रोस्पेक्शन वन कैन अटेन गॉड येस दैट इज वन वे टू मूव टूवर्ड्स गॉड एंड सम पीपल मे सीक दैट एंड वी ऑल मे नीड फेजेज ऑफ इंट्रोस्पेक्शन फेजेज ऑफ विड्रॉवल फ्रॉम द वर्ल्ड फॉर रिन्यूइंग आर स्पिरिट्स बट एक्चुअली गॉड डजेंट एग्जिस्ट ओनली इन सेक्लूडेड प्लेसेस God also exists in this world. In the Bhagavad Gita, in the 18th chapter, 46th verse, Krishna states, "Yatah pravrtir bhuta nam yen sarvam idam tatam swakarmana tamabhircha siddhim mendati manava." Krishna says, "Yatah pravrtir bhuta nam." That from him, all of creation has come. Yen sarvam idam tatam. by him all of existence is pervaded swakarmanatam abhyarcha by your work worship him siddhim vindati manava one who does like this can attain perfection what this verse means is that krishna is telling in the bhagavad gita that god pervades the world we need to see god as connected with the world as manifesting in the world it is he who is the source of the world it is he who is pervading the world so the talents that we have those talents are manifestations of god paurusham rishu krishna says i am ability in people so whatever contributions we make with our talents actually we can see them as means by which we are serving god so actually when we see in this way the activity of the world when we work according to our talents according to our interests according to the position that we find ourselves in in the world we do our best that work when done with devotional intention that work when done with an attempt to uh, please our lord through the quality of our work that attempt that that work itself can be a part of bhakti of course we because the world is filled with so much passionate activity so when we are engaging with the world alone then we can get consumed by the passion of the world and we may get disconnected from god that's why we do need time when we can directly exclusively undistractedly focus on god so we need time for our sadhana for chanting the holy names for studying scriptures for worshiping the deities along with that we do this for a significantly intense period of our life and having done that then we move on and we do other things and whatever other things we do we do not separate that this was my time for god this is the time for us to do things no all of my time is for god but there is some which is i serve directly and some place i serve it directly so when we understand that krishna is in my heart and when the, there's no distraction from the world at that time i can see krishna within and krishna is also there in the world and when the events happen in our life then also if we are conscious of krishna's presence in the world then we can see that he is manifesting that krishna is acting in this way he is prompting me in this direction he is he has a plan for my life and we see thus then through whatever situation we are in we can be conscious of krishna of his love for us of our opportunity to serve him and thus both in the privacy of our heart and in the activity of the world we can be going closer to krishna thank you hare krishna